guys. So today is another Disney day. So I'm going to Epcot. Um, I've got a few fast passes booked for today. Gonna go do Soarin' for the first time since they've um, remastered it. Um, so looking forward to that one. And then heading over to Magic Kingdom for four o'clock because that's when Mickey's Not So Scary um, starts. So I'm gonna meet Ashley and Emma in Magic Kingdom at four. Um, but before all that, I'm gonna head to Best Buy because there was a new camera that came out yesterday that I wanna try and get for creating a new type of content for, for you guys. Um, it's saying it's sold out everywhere, so I don't think I'm gonna be successful, but if I do, I'll let you know. And yeah, new content for you guys. Um, so, bag is packed, all good to go. I've um, got my costume, I've got water. It's so important to stay hydrated, guys, out here. So important. Um, and yeah, all covered it in suntan lotion because the sunburn on my back is quite bad. Um, so it's good to know that I haven't got, I haven't got burnt where the suntan lotion was. So it's good to know that sun lotion is doing its job. But unfortunately, yeah, the areas that I couldn't reach yesterday with my sun lotion, they are quite bad. And because I couldn't reach it with suntan lotion, I can't reach it with after sun. So, um, but Rob did come up with quite a good idea today. He said put some um, after sun in the bath and then lay in the bath and like just wiggle and rub it in. <laughs> Which I haven't done yet, but if it does get, um, if it does get painful and everything then yeah I've always got that option um, but yeah for now let's head off to Best Buy and then Disney so I've arrived at Best Buy um, let's go in and see if they've got the camera um, but literally just over there is Cheesecake Factory um, so I've gone like come to the uh, Best Buy at Mall at Millennia um, it's killing me that I know that Cheesecake Factory is just over there. Half tempted to go get a slab of their chocolate cake to take away, but it means I'm going back via the hotel to pop it in the fridge. I'll see what time I've got by the time I've finished here. They didn't have the camera, guys. <laughs> they were super helpful. Can't fault them um, for trying for me. They checked. Uh, they checked online. They checked all stock in other stores. Um, literally nowhere's got it apart from the warehouse. But it's going to take until Tuesday for it to be delivered, and I go home on the Monday. But, not a problem, I will I will get the camera at some point. Um, I was just hoping to get it whilst I was out here in Florida so I could get some more Florida content for you guys. Oh, let's get the aircon on. Oh. Um, so yeah, gonna head off to, to Disney now. I think I know my way from here, so um, don't need sat nav. Sorry, this has been a really wobbly shot. Ah. Uh, can't get my seatbelt in. There you go. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a shame, but um, not the end of the world. Um, I'll keep my eyes peeled for it in case it does pop up before I leave. But yeah, it's definitely about, it's in their warehouse, it's just not in the shops. And I don't think I'm going to stop for a cheesecake factory. I'm going to be good, I'm going to save myself until we go there properly. <laughs> Because it will happen on this trip. I am going to Cheesecake Factory, even if I go on my own. I am going. Right, so let's get to Epcot. Let's Disney it, guys. Let's go. Guys, I lied. I'm going to Cheesecake Factory. It's literally just down there. <laughs> it's all because, just to justify why I'm here, um, it's all because I couldn't do a left turn out of the Best Buy car park. Um, had to do a right turn, which then brings you past more look millennia. So I was like, okay, if it's making me go past, then it's a sign that I have to go into Cheesecake Factory and get some cake. <laughs>
Look at these guys. So I went for the Linda's chocolate fudge cake. So I'm not a huge fan of cheesecake, even though it's called Cheesecake Factory. Um, the food there that they, they serve is so good. Such a good restaurant um, and quite a substantial menu. So it's something to please everyone. Um, and yeah, Rob always goes for the, the cheesecake, whereas I always go for the chocolate, chocolate fudge cake. So yeah, gotta go, go back by the hotel, pop this in the fridge. And then I've got a, a treat to, to come home to tonight after Mickey's not so scary. <laughs> ah, I'm so excited for this. Might have to have a little bit when I get to the room. <laughs> Hello. Hello, how are you? Okay. Standard parking, please. Just arrived at Disney. Um, I'm come to Epcot first because that's where my fast passes are. Um, I decided to park here because starting to to run out of time in parking at Magic Kingdom then um, like getting the monorail across and stuff I just thought if I just come here I know I'm definitely going to be here in time for my my fast pass for soaring which is the first one um, and then as and when I need to go to Magic Kingdom I'll just I'll drive across because once you pay for parking at Disney that's it for the rest of the day so even though you can jump from car park to car park um, if you just show the receipt they'll let you in so it's gonna be a hot one today guys oh. first sight of the ball guys we've literally just missed the the tram but it's not a long walk up to the the park entrance anyway so let's walk it today you can see the Disney Springs balloon up today when I was driving past um, on the i4 you can see it it's just gone up again I haven't done the balloon here at Disney Springs um, but they've got one very similar in Disneyland Paris I have been up in that one um, I think they're helium balloons so, um, yeah, and you're basically attached to like a metal wire, like a metal cord, and then um, as and when it's ready to go up, they slowly crank it up, leave you up there for a minute, two minutes, and then crank you, wind you back in. Just a, a quick note guys, say hi and wave to um, the staff members and cast members in the parks. Um, I don't think they get a lot of love and gratitude at times, so there was just uh, two cast members over here helping people with parking um, and I just gave them a wave and they were like, have a lovely day ma'am, so it makes their day and it makes me smile. So. Yeah. Oh no, the tram's gonna beat me. <laughs> I should have waited for the next tram. That's fine. Getting my exercise in. Look who I just found. Ah, Steph, you're really hot. You just burnt my finger. There she is. Keeping her eye on the ball as always, as she says. Keeping her eye on the ball. Really hurt my finger. <laughs> Don't touch Steph, she's very hot. Unless you come here over night time. Don't go poking Steph in the face because she she'll burn you. <laughs> First fast pass of the day is Soren. So excited because Soren is one of my favourite rides here at Disney. Um, and I haven't been on it since they've remastered it. And I've heard nothing but amazing things, so very, very excited for Soarin'. Guys, just popped into Starbucks and they've got the You Are Here mugs. Yes! <laughs> Had to be done. So, just got off Soarin'. 
spring and it's absolutely incredible amazing the only thing i would say is try and get the top row and in the uh middle set of chairs so basically imagine it as a grid of nine so um when you go up against the screen it's three rows down um and three across i was in the far right hand side of the screen second row down um and on the very far right of that row so i was on the furthest right seat that you can get still had a good view uh but when things got quite big on the screen it started to bend and warp so like the eiffel tower looked like a banana um and the epcot ball looked like an egg shape so that's the only thing i'd say try and get in the middle top row top row because uh you don't get the dangling feet so you don't um that illusion that you're flying doesn't get ruined um and in the middle so you don't get the distortion one way or the other you're bang smack in the middle of the screen um but a really good ride and like the introduction of the the smells um reminded me of pandora actually the uh, world of Avatar, the uh, Flight of Passage, the smell in there. So, um, it smells very fresh when they um, inject the smell, it's lovely. So, my uh, second fast pass isn't for about 20 minutes. Um, so, just have a, a wander outside. So, I'm just heading over to Test Track because it's one of the rides that has a single rider queue um currently saying five minutes so let's do it i love this ride much a straight walk on um might go back on it again actually if i've got the time um you go so fast i've pretty much lost my bum <laughs> um fell out went that quick uh such such a good ride okay guys so i'm just about to go back on test track i've redone my bun let's see what state it's in by the time we get off so test track are done for the second time and the bun test <laughs> um yeah it's still in but it's definitely loosened it <laughs> The uh, little boy that was alongside me, the, uh, the mum said that it was his first ever ride, um, so he's never even done, he's never even done like a fairground ride before, um, but he absolutely loved it, he came off like beaming from here to here, um, yeah. <laughs> what a ride to do is your first ever ride, test track. <laughs> So I'm now about 40 minutes into my next pass pass. So I'm going to head over and go do that now, which is um, under the sea with Nemo and friends. Um, I've never done it before, so again, excited, excited to, to see this one. Do you recognise? Do you recognise them? <laughs> <laughs> Nemo, where are you, Nemo? Who's Nemo? 
He's my son. You know that. We went on a huge adventure together, which you don't remember at all. Is he orange with white stripes and looks kind of like you, only smaller? Yes. Have you seen him? Seen who? Hi, I'm Lori. <laughs> to the aquarium without having to do the under the seas attraction entrance is here just basically turn left and this is basically the exit for the ride and the gift shop so you can actually go in that way um, and that's where um, turtle talk is as well so there you go so my next fast pass is Disney and Pixar short film festival um, which started 15 minutes ago so I'm just heading over to that one now. So I'm a huge fan of Disney Pixar, um, especially the shorts. Um, I've got the, the full collection on, um, on Blu-ray. I just think they're absolutely incredible. So looking forward to this. And again, I haven't done this one before. So the Disney and Pixar short film festival really good they showed you three short films um, one was a, uh, a very like the traditional original um, Mickey Mouse like steamboat willy type style um, mixed up with uh, kind of modern uh, animation but with the traditional characters and then two Disney Pixar um, short films one of which was Piper which I love which is the the seabird one and then they add uh, special effects over the top so it's 3d uh, there's some lighting um, like air as well blown blown on you so really good and surround sound as well so really good enjoyed it um, unfortunately I haven't had chance to do the world showcase today um, I'm heading back to the car now I'm going to drive over to Magic Kingdom uh, because 
I'm due to meet Ashley and Emma at four and it's quarter past three now. So by the time I drive over there, get the uh, parking, then probably gonna catch the ferry today, head over to Magic Kingdom. Um, it's probably gonna be about four o'clock. For today, from Epcot, see ya. Can we do a, a Casey Neistat style? <laughs> I will be back Epcot, I will. But for now, on to Magic Kingdom and Mickey's not so scary. Time to get our costumes on as well, guys. 